What's the dumbest thing someone tried to brag about? Kid in my class bragged about how he stole an air freshener from the school bathroom. He was holding an unwrapped, wet urinal cake in his hand. I work with a grown-ass man who taped three of them under his desk as an air freshener. They smell like a combination of cherry and bleach. I used to work with a guy who bragged that he could read print with his fingers, like Daredevil. When I asked him to demonstrate on a newspaper, he admitted that it only worked on embossed print, like on our business cards. So he could read print by feel, but only raised print, and only if he'd seen it before. Not really an impressive trick. That's nothing. If you open a brand new, unshuffled deck of cards, I can tell you which one's on top. If you let me hold the cards, shuffle them and look away for a second, I can tell what card is on bottom. This girl I went to high school with had to make everything a bragging competition. Even negative things. Me, ugh, my shoes are giving me blisters her, yeah well mine are why I worse. Or, me, e uh, my shirt smells her, yeah well mine smells even worse. I worked with a ducker like that, always had a one-up story for everything. Me and a co-worker started making up stories to see how many different one-ups he could come up with. This kid in middle school always bragged how hot his mom was. It was really weird. My mom is so sexy. You guys will all want to have relations with her and dream about her in a sexual manner. I hate when patients try to convince each other that their diagnoses slash treatments are so much worse than anyone else's. How long are you in chemo? Well I have to be here 3 hours. Well I have to be here every day for 5 days in a row. Is yours curable? That's good, but I'll be on chemo the rest of my life at least you don't have to sit here with 3 bulging discs. My doctor says I'm too sick for surgery have you tried steroid shots? I have to get them because I have floating cartilage in both knees. Shut up, all of you. You all have cancer and it all sucks. Back in high school, there was this rich kid who loved to brag. Usually about his dad's car or some shit he did in a video game. He also liked to one-up people. I don't even remember how we got on the subject, but he started bragging about his washing machine and how many RPM it had. This wins. This stucking wins. I get that washing machines rotate, but I had never imagined you could brag about how fast. Making her fianc spend $10,000 on her ring. He was able to find a great diamond wholesale and worked a deal with a friend to make the ring. It would have been a one-of-a-kind item. Nope. She refused and insisted he get what she picked out. The stones were of lesser quality. No matter what he said, she insisted he spend at least $10,000. The actual ring and gems were not as important to her as the price tag. She told that story with a huge shit-eating grin on her face. Whenever she showed the ring, she would stick it in people's faces and say it was five figures. The marriage lasted nine months. Edit, to answer some questions. She was, is, perhaps the most unintelligent person I have ever known. Some of the truly astoundingly dumb things that came out of her mouth amazed me routinely. She also enjoyed being dumb. This more than anything else made me truly dislike her to the point of loathing. She was attractive. Enough time has gone by for me to admit this. Actually she was really attractive but I could not get past the stupid shit she said and did. She is one of the only people I openly mocked. If I don't like someone, I keep my distance. She would seek me out just for me to insult her because she enjoyed the attention. The more she did, the more I disliked her and the worse my insults became. Did I mention she was attractive? Yeah. Her life's ambition was to be on the cover of a fitness magazine and she was a ring girl for boxing matches. The ones that wear tiny bikini s and walk around with a giant number to let you know what round it was. Huge fake boobs. Everything she wore was designed to accentuate her chest. Sadly, if she wore less makeup she would have been even more beautiful but she caked that crap on daily. One time she came to work wearing what we think was a lingerie top. It was embarrassing because she was practically naked. She had the most obnoxious laugh I've ever heard. When she found something really funny she would start up with this high-pitched barking that sounded like Woody Woodpecker. I will admit that was kind of fun to get her going and see the look of shock on people's faces that had not heard it. The first few times it was actually alarming. She was hired to work sales and on her first call with her boss, she made a complete fool of herself and him. He was pissed and she never went out again. She instead became a secretary of sorts but made so many mistakes, he had to fire her. She hugged him goodbye and regularly came to the office to visit. Her boss insisted she was the most qualified applicant. No one believed him. 
Not long after she was hired, his wife left him. We asked her if she knew what was up and she would shake her head with a stupid grin and plead the fifth. She then used that phrase to try and get out trouble. Where are you late today? I plead the fifth. Just before her wedding, she competed in a pageant. She basically starved herself and dehydrated her skin so it would accentuate her muscles. It was so unhealthy, her kidneys shut down and spent her honeymoon week in the hospital. She insisted on keeping the receipt as proof. She wouldn't tell me exactly why they split up but claimed neither cheated. She kept the ring. Dude, I got like 8 speeding tickets last year. I drive way faster oh, cool. I drive 9 kilometers over. Being able to drive drunk well. I was so drunk when I left the bar last night, I don't even know how I made it home. This has always pissed me off, because my mom, brother and I were in a car accident years ago that was caused by a drunk driver. I flatlined two times, and had countless surgeries to fix the problems he caused, and in court, his exact words were, I never meant to hurt no kids. Well you did, jackass, because you thought your drunk brain was smart enough to operate a vehicle. Duck drunk drivers. Really bragging in general is kind of low brow. Be like me, I'm the most humble person ever. My only flaw is my excessive humility. I have flaws. What are they? I sing in the shower. Sometimes I spend too much time volunteering. Occasionally I'll hit somebody with my car. Cheating on his wife. I've never heard someone bragging about cheating in person but to me that would be them just declaring what a pos they are. I have heard people that tell me about cheating and I can tell they are just telling me to justify it to themselves. Like if, boyfriend, was paying attention to me more I wouldn't have even went out drinking the night I met, other guy, so this is really, boyfriend's, fault. The size of his dick. That's not the dumb part though. The dumb part is that I was about to see it. And he lied. Like, WTF? Edit, thank you for all the karma. I wasn't prepared for the inbox explosion. I'm interested in the claim to actual ratio. Parents bragging that their daughter was pregnant with baby number 3, she was not yet 18 at the time. Our little girl is really fertile and loves raw dogging at a Christmas newsletter hit, no doubt. How he keeps it real, and doesn't give a duck what anyone thinks. Yet also seemed rather perturbed when I rolled my eyes at him. It's like he momentarily forgot to not give a duck. In my experience, People who claim that they don't give a duck are the ones that really do, especially when you tell them you don't give a duck that they don't give a duck. Being sleep deprived. You see people in school or in high pressure professions brag about how little they slept as a sign of how hardcore or productive or important they are, but being sleep deprived makes you measurably dumber. It's the sleep deprivation making them say it. A girl on my course at uni was bragging about starting her essay, worth 60%, at 6 a.m. the day it was due at 12 noon. She ended up submitting in 4 minutes late, having lied about the word count, way under, making up a critic, and footnoting and referencing incorrectly. She's really proud of that, too. Edit, I thought I'd add some details about the word counts. We had 3 assignments, one 2000 word essay, one 2200 word essay, and one portfolio made up of 2000 words with an extra 1200 word commentary. The minimum that we can go under is 40 words, and she under by 150 in every single piece, and lied about it on the cover sheet. I don't understand stolen valor. People buy and wear expensive ass military uniforms just so they can gallivant around the mall. They talk to kids, and boast to random people about their service. Is playing make-believe really all that enthralling that you would risk both shaming yourself and breaking the law? If the prestige of being a member of the military means that much to you then maybe you should join the army. I have a friend who brags about being able to smoke two to three packs a day. I just don't understand it at all. Someone posted in slash r slash picks a copy of their manuscript and first rejection letter. It then went on to brag about how easy writing came and don't forget Harry Potter got rejected X number of times. Apparently, they felt they were the next JK Rowling. We all go to this guy into posting the first chapter. So bad. No cohesion, spelling errors, factual errors in geography and boating, weird word choice and scattered thoughts. The rejection was obvious. This didn't look like a first draft even. And the bragging continued about how at least he had courage to write something and try to publish it. Last time I looked, it was still unpublished, so I think reality set in. 
Overheard a guy bragging how much he spent on a t-shirt. Yeah this was 120 bucks man. Guilty of this. I grew up poor and didn't have nice things so when I finally started getting nice things I would gladly say how much I paid for them. I didn't realize I looked douchey. But you grew up, and you admitted you looked like a douche, and that's all that matters. Glad you're able to do well for yourself now. A new guy at work was really weird and awkward but seemed nice enough so we invited him out for happy hour. I guess he was trying to fit in when was describing his shitty sex life with his ex-wife and what a bitch she was, standard talk for divorced guys I suppose, and then he went on to detail how smooth his balls were because he had gotten them botoxed. As in he had to tell us how his ex was missing out because his balls were so smooth and how amazing it was, just, so many details that I did not ever need to hear about anyone's balls, really, ever. Needless to say, he was never invited to happy hour again. I'm sorry but I couldn't stop laughing at this. LOL Made a comment about my old dog that my ex took, and in it I had said she had left me for another guy 18 days before the wedding. Before the to save face, she kept denying that she was ever even seeing him or cheated on me. She then proceeded to find that comment weeks after it was posted in a thread that got nowhere, comment on it saying she was with the guy long before the 18 days I mentioned in my comment. I didn't reply, and the thread was already dead so no one else saw it. It just seemed like the dumbest thing to brag about. Fella I went to school with ended up on heroin, was always a prick and his life was never gonna be a success, but thought he was some kind OG cause he was a smackhead. Bumped into in my mid-twenties once in a pub, was the same old twat trying to impress everyone. Told us a story he thought made him look cool. Apparently he came around a bend in the road and found a car on its side with the occupants, a middle-aged couple, unconscious and needing help. Rather than do the normal thing he decided to rob them, took great delight in telling us how he'd taken the wallet from the guy and the purse from the lady. SMH. I've no idea whether it was true or not but how he got out that pub without getting seriously hurt I don't know, took all my powers of persuasion to stop any of my lads having a go, and there were others in there more than capable and certainly willing to seriously hurt someone. A friend of a friend, well call him Travis, I guess that makes him my acquaintance. Attends the gym 2 hours a day follows a rigorous diet and although I'm not 100% certain he doesn't use steroids. Travis's passion and discipline for lifting and getting big is something I totally respect him for and when summer comes anyone can clearly see the results. He is a 240 pounds muscle bull, he does look impressive. Imho Travis has the right to brag about his size and wear revealing clothes because of all the hard work he puts on every day. However, when he implies he can control slash kick anyone's ass well. That's where I draw the line. I train MMA, therefore I know a lot of dudes who train MMA. One day, I was not present, Travis got into a discussion with one of those MMA guys, one thing led to another and it was decided to settle things outside. Long story short. 27 year old 240 pounds Travis got humiliated by 21 year old 165 pounds Irvin. People who witnessed this say it was glorious. The incident however, hasn't stopped Travis from talking too much slash 3. When people brag about all the things they don't know, as if ignorance is a virtue. Hell no, I don't speak any other language besides English. This is America, baby. Reminds me of the Bill Hicks joke where he's reading a book in a diner, and the waitress comes up to him and asks what you read and for? Not what is he reading, but why is he reading? Bragging about all the mental illnesses they have been diagnosed with. It's not a competition, dude. Bragging about throwing a tantrum with a manager at a restaurant and getting their way. My uncle always interrupts Thanksgiving dinner to brag about how sour his farts taste. Something beautiful about this one. I think it's the casual implication he always ruins an annual event in such a specific way. When someone brags about drinking a lot of water. Like what do you want me to say to you? Look at this guy here probably can't even handle 10 shots of water. Not knowing a lot about computers. Seriously you're 23 you should know how to type with more than two fingers. That actually happens more for older people, I don't need to know about these goddamn computers. And then they learn about it and send me endless 10 year old memes. Yeah I bet he sleeps in a bed and shit too. Mr. Moneybags. Getting stupid drunk and pissing themselves. Overheard this guy on a train bragging to the girl next to him about how many DUIs he's been able to talk himself out of, who is this impressing? 
the accomplishments of other people which have nothing whatsoever to do with you. I'm proud of my, European country I've never been to ish heritage, because my ancestors practically built Western civilization. Yeah? Well my team won the Super Bowl. Money their parents make. Like you ducking contribute to their success. One of my old friends from high school was telling me about how he recently got a raise at his job where he's making six figures and how he stays in shape by running five miles every morning before making breakfast for his wife who's pregnant with their first child. It's like WTF some people brag about anything, I recently became apprentice sales associate at Party City and you don't see me blabbing about it. Dal bro? Having kids, you literally did what humans are biologically engineered to do. Raise decent human beings then I'll be impressed. Having the biggest nuclear button. Sounds weird, but being dumb. Like, when they go ha 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 I failed that class again or bragging about being apathetic in general. It's not cute to have zero ambition. Defense mechanism. If I make fun of myself, other people will make less fun of me. Didn't even think of that. Sorry man. I have a co-worker who brags about how picky of an eater she is. No allergies or anything limiting her diet. Just hates everything and needs to boast about it anytime office chatter goes to the subject of a new restaurant, or about some new meal someone cooked. A guy in one of my classes bragged to me about having the best antivirus software for his laptop and one second after the brag I watched a roach run out of his laptop. It was actually amazing. When people brag about stuff that a stereotypical macho man should do, like, being in fist fights, ducking a lot of girls, having a big penis, etc. It just sung so childish and ridiculous, like wasting an entire life to fulfill an empty animal-esque obsolete dangerous ideal. And I'll kick the ass of anyone that disagrees. Thanks for listening to another episode of Reddit X. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any stories. Feel free to share your own stories below in the comments. Have a good day.